Some of you, if you want to celebrate your birthday, as you are doing photo shoot, you are buying cake, you will not sleep. Oh. Let us say we want to fast for three days now. Wahala. And you are the one that needs God most. Hallelujah. The vacuum in your life, if they throw it into ocean, it no fee flow. But to do divine things, very stressful for you. You lack piety. Please continue to work on this from today and see how God makes things open up for you. You always wonder why are pastors more powerful than regular people. I'm telling you the secret. Because pastors concentrate. They, I can't be preaching and not concentrate. So, my whole spirit is in this divine assignment. Why will God not do my own when I'm doing his own? But most people down the receiving end, they receive it casually. That's why lecturers are more brilliant than their students. Most of their students. Because they won't take the same route that the lecturer is taking. A lecturer will prepare hard to come and teach you. The person they are teaching will just receive it with casualty. How And you won't go back to it. How will you become better? Hallelujah. Amen. The second spirit of the world that needs to go into permanent extinction is ignorance. Ignorance. The spirit of ignorance needs to go extinct. I know we know that ignorance is the lack of information. So the question is, why do we have 99.9% .9 of people that are ignorant? Now, if you say, no, 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 Pastor B, that's not correct. You are already ignorant. You have already exhibited ignorance. Because I even really just removed one. 100% of people are ignorant. Because you can't know everything, so you have to keep learning. There's nobody that has information about everything. And since we say ignorance is lack of information, so at any point in time, you will have to lack information. The only good thing is you can learn, and then you're no longer ignorant about that situation. But it doesn't mean you're not ignorant about the other. Hallelujah. Amen. If I'm a medical doctor, let me be the top of my game. I don't know how to do my tire. So I'm ignorant about vulcanizing. Simple ignorance. It's like that. But when it comes to real life, it's not about the work we do. You now see people exhibiting ignorance heavily and it's visible in your life. Ignorance is visible in your life. That's why people that are made, they laugh to people who are not made. They will tell you things like, if you remove everything I have, put me in a desert, come back three years time, I'll be wealthy again. They know some things you don't know. Hallelujah. What are you focused on? What are you researching on? What are you looking for? Nothing. You are completely ignorant. Some people will hate me from today because I, I'm not seeing you. Even if I see you, I can't see you. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you got married, how much did you know about marriage? The person you chose for marriage, how much did you know about how to choose for marriage? This job you are doing, how much do you know about the job? How much are you improving on it? When you were to get pregnant, did you even know anything about the processes? And how deep do you know about how to keep yourself safe? I've had women die of pregnancy complications, not because the devil was involved. They ate things they shouldn't eat. They did things they shouldn't do. And it got complicated. Ignorance is never on any book. It's never an excuse. And we are all ignorant and we want God to grant us that excuse. It's an absolute form of spirit of the world that needs to go extinct. No matter what you think about God, whatever he has shown to you should not punish you again. Simple, simple things that you should have knowledge about, you don't. The only thing you know, sir, you know how to do makeup. Plenty. What's the value? You know how to combine colors for your clothes. What's the value? The real value, the food you give your family is killing them. Five years later, they, this one has diabetes, this one has hypertension. You are feeding them wrongly. Get yourself to learn about meals, healthy meals. You say, no. In the olden days, people that drink milk and eat egg. Eat one egg, one per day. <laughs> Hallelujah. How convinced are you? What are the elements in the egg that made people say eat it in a day? Maybe it was format. Why do you prefer close-up to super mint? You don't even know what's on this thing you are using to brush your teeth. And then later you say, all yeah, oh, your family members have teeth problem. It's not devil. Stupidity is allowed, but you will reap the reward. Most of us are reaping rewards of ignorance. But we don't want to stay to it. Because no man wants to carry their own sin. 
so every time anything happens you put the blame on everybody except yourself ignorance the spirit of ignorance needs to go away five years ago your prayers had been lord i am in poverty my family doesn't have money bring me out of it i want supernatural touch for wealth i want to be the wealth carrier of this family that had been your prayers right very well now let me ask you the question of how ignorant you are if you need money how many things do you know about money at least when i knew i needed a wife i had to figure out a way of how to convince a, a girl a random girl on the street to follow me to my house <laughs> because that's what it means hallelujah whether you are promising ever or not or you are whatever you must convince a lady to leave her father to follow you to your house whether it's one room or half room or 75 rooms it's a strategy if you are good some people will they cannot talk to one single girl till tomorrow even if they like a lady they are old though you go and meet your friend i like that girl you go help me talk to her he said, ah, go and tell her now he said i don't know what to say no single strategy zero is that god or devil none none of the above you are ignorant so you need money you are praying for money and you know nothing about money you don't know how to make money you don't know how to multiply it you don't know how to save it you don't know how to pass it to the next generation you know nothing you are reading nothing you are not looking at the bible for wealth you are not looking at the world nothing and you are praying for wealth ignorance ignorance everything you are praying for god had answered the implementation is in what you are lacking and once you lack that it looks like god has not answered you when god gave me the power to start ministry i quickly figured that this cannot be done without money and i'm not a pastor that will come and be saying if you want to give god something to give god anything you want that's not on me hallelujah so i knew for me to go to the level of what god has shown me i need money now i went back to god provide the money i need for me and this time i'm not asking anybody to go and pay one title one of free anywhere i'm not saying don't pay it's between you and your god but that i will now be a champion because i need money i'll not be coercing people to pay no god opened my own way every million i need i have and i will use by myself if anybody likes to support let's go is to the glory of god if nobody supporting only me will do it to so the level of the biggest of the biggest only me but i have pastors who say they are called today ignorantly he will not listen to any other thing he will cancel everything that god had set in his life to take him there and then he will carry bible and megaphone and go to the market you must accept jesus you see that nonsense voice he's saying and i call it nonsense in another 10 years you still see in that marketplace with rickety clothing saying the same thing the children the wife would have aborted like left the marriage because now he sees a useless man and continue to do it like this is god that sent him ignorance but i decree this morning that the spirit of ignorance will disappear from you in the name of jesus I decree the lack of piety to go to permanent extinction. Let the lack of piety, let it go to permanent extinction in the name of Jesus. Let lack of piety, let it go to permanent extinction in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we are praying. I receive power to be devoted to my calling. I receive power to be devoted to my service to God in the name of Jesus. Power to be devoted. I receive this money. Power to be devoted. I receive this money in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.